<clears throat> Hello. I'm back teaching yoga and I love yoga combined with meditation and then I do angel healing on each person in, in the, the class and it's just it's such a gorgeous combination so I've been working a lot this week and really enjoying it enjoying the productivity and seeing progress with my clients and just welcoming these beautiful summer energies and just thriving really thriving especially in my my work and my soul my soul's role so a little bit a little bit tired now because it's coming to the end of my workday and the end of the week and we find ourselves in a very interesting energy so you may be noticing that there's overlapping dimensions frequencies in your life right now perhaps you've noticed the echo of your old identity or an old life that you've lived the echo of what was overlapping with the inklings the beginning stages the birthing of a new dimension the fifth dimension in your life and some people find this overlap tiring or as though their energy feels split in two because there's feelings and emotions about what is closing and what is drawing to completion and also there's habits you know there's behaviors there's ways of being there's behavioral routines that have served you very well in that old world in that old dimension that old life but you've outgrown those routines you've outgrown the status quo and in order to create something new you've been wading through the chaos the creative chaos energies that are necessary when we begin to create and birth something new in our lives so it's like when you first set up a class you first set up a project or you start a new job you need to welcome the discomfort of what's not familiar you need to allow time to settle in to these new ways and these new dimensional ways these the overlap with this new life this is good this is good stuff this is the fruits of your labor you're actually hearing feeling vindication confirmation you're getting the recognition the acknowledgement the validation that you knew deep down as you waded through the chaos and the muddy waters and the not knowing and the confusion that you've that you've passed through now and you have passed through it love hearts everywhere the petal 
Look at that. I find these love hearts in nature everywhere. Beautiful. So you're you're on miracle ground now. And the ground that you're on is fertile. The ground that you were standing on that you were you had built an old identity or an old life on that was not good soil that soil had rocks in it it was crumbly it was dry you couldn't seem to grow anything from that soil it didn't work for you what was didn't work so why would you stay pondering or reflecting on what didn't work? Why would you waste the gift of this present energy that you have flowing through your veins, thumping, pumping in your heart? Why would you waste that when you have energy now and you should be feeling an inspired burst of energy as we move through June. So what are you going to do with that energy? I've been wanting to get back to yoga for some time. It just wasn't suitable up until recently and I love how when I'm patient with the desire. I love how it comes together and pays off at the perfect time. Divine timing. And everything just lines up and it flows. And I know in my heart that if I had to try to push that before it was ready, it wouldn't have been so meaningful, so powerful, so beautiful as, as it is now. There was also a situation where some people in my shoes for the past six months would have been really anxious and nervous about how how they're going to make ends meet or how they're going to pull something off. And I just didn't go there. I felt the feelings of... If something is ready to complete itself, I'm okay with that. And I'm still in those feelings. I'm still perfectly fine with whatever happens now because I have found through my archaeological (laughs) excavations of my soul, I found a peacefulness inside myself. I found the light, the God light, deep down in my inner being's inner being and whatever happens now I just know it's for the best I have that faith I found that powerful faith again in myself that perhaps I had misplaced in 2020 with the anxiety and big changes and massive massive the biggest life changes ever and I'm happy to say the energies right now even though some of you are still feeling that overlap that sense of okay let's just get on with this new life now and let's find new ways new behaviors new daily routines that better fit who I have become. You see, often people can, I see this within myself and I've seen it a lot in clients, we can often confuse missing and grieving our past selves, the young girl we were, or the young woman we were, or the young boy or teenage boy we were, or the young man in his 40s 
sometimes we grieve these aspects of the self and we pin that to oh I miss living in Australia but actually it's not that you miss living in Australia it's that you're grieving you in your 40s living in Australia with the tan and the sunshine and and all the gorgeous stuff that went with that lifestyle so you get what I'm saying I'm talking about how we we think it's about the person the place the job the circumstances of that time but the truth is we're lamenting a past self that we've outgrown we are lamenting and missing and grieving the old self which has to be released and if you have not released that part of you and it could be tied to your ex-wife it can be tied to an abusive lover who somewhere inside you you still love that person or you still miss them but understand it's often it's like when it's like when someone dies I remember when my dad died and I had no experience really up close and personal with losing a, a human being that I loved that closely at that time and I realized at his cremation that it wasn't just him who was in the box going into the fire that it was also me there was a version of me little Avine Avine as a teenage girl Avine in her 20s I was barely 30 when my dad passed so I was grieving my childhood because that was going in the box with him not completely but it was t- there was a, his energy was tied to that version of me and I found that quite quite sad and quite difficult to release but I did and I understood that it's timely and it's natural and in that way I wasn't clinging to him I wasn't holding him back from his transition going wherever he needed to go next because he was done with his his struggles with his health and I wanted that freedom for him so I hope that gives you some soothing I hope it helps you make sense of whatever it is that is overlapping in your life whatever you're gently waving goodbye to that you understand that a big part of that is not that you need to go back to that place or you need to call that person or you need to remarry your divorced husband it's that you miss that version of yourself and perhaps that marriage or that country or that location represented you at your best maybe that was you absolutely thriving but you outgrew it because if you didn't you'd still be there if you didn't outgrow it you'd still be with that person you'd still be in that marriage you'd still be in Australia in your 40s but you can't stay the same because your soul wants change and your soul wants to keep looking and growing and expanding and say to yourself that's the best I was up till now that's that's the best I was yet but there's more to come there's so much more to come and this is just the beginning this is just a new start for you god bless